from the Department of Medical Neuroscience. Please welcome Tarek Youssef. Who here uses Instagram? Raise your hands. Wow, okay, that's a bunch of people. All right. Who here loves the smell, the taste of an Instagram photo? Mmm. Oh, okay. Well, exactly. We love it because we see it. One billion Instagram users prove we're obsessed with what we see. I study how we see. Picture Corey. New to Instagram, he asks his sister to capture a magical sunset. She sees the beautiful background and the details of Corey's face as his dog steals a kiss. She can even see a huge pimple on Corey's nose. <laughs> Snap. Oh no, poor Corey. You can't see him in the backlit photo. And lucky for him, you can't see that pimple. I study how we can see details like Corey's pimple despite enormous changes in background light. I do this research because for sighted people like Corey, vision is the most relied upon sense. Vision is lost in over 10% of people to injury or disease. And to develop artificial vision, we need to understand the eye. The light-sensitive cells at the back of the eye split the visual scene into features like color, motion, and contrast. I study how enormous changes in background light affect cells that detect contrast. If you remember one thing today, remember the horizontal cell. Everyone's like, finally, he's getting to the horizontal cell. I gotta go buy toilet paper. Okay, let me tell you. <laughs> horizontal cells tell the brain about contrast by comparing the average light in a scene to smaller light signals. In bright light, like a sunny day or this stage, let me tell you, horizontal cells are disconnected, calculating contrast over smaller regions of the visual scene. In dim light, like dawn or dusk, Horizontal cells join together, sampling a larger portion of the visual scene for the best measure of background light. This is what lets Corey's sister see the pimple on his nose despite a sunset background. Simple digital camera light sensors can't adapt to these enormous changes. I'm studying how chemicals affect this process. I predict nitric oxide, a gas in the eye, disconnects horizontal cells and I see them by injecting a visible dye that spreads through their network. I'm also using drugs to understand the system, ones that block or mimic nitric oxide and its molecular neighbors. The goal is that this foundational research contributes to crucial vision restoration. Until then, remember, your camera does not have horizontal cells, so don't be backlit when you take that Instagram photo for all those sweet, sweet likes. Thank you. <laughs> 